ten minutes the plane leaves. We have to hurry. I'll go get the luggage aboard. Coming you, sir? No. No, I'll wait till Kristen's captain. I'll be right back. Well, those letters of transit are in blank. Will you fill in the names? That'll make it even more official. Well, you think of everything, Ricky. The names to fill in are Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. Mr. But why my name, Richard? Because you're getting on that plane. But I, what about you? I'm staying here to keep Captain Reno company till the plane leaves. No, no, Rich. What has happened to you last night? Richard? Last night we said a we said a great many things. Did you mean everything you said? You know I did. You said I'd have to do the thinking for all of us. Well, my thinking adds up to you getting on that plane with Victor. No, but Rich. I know what you're going to say, that you belong here with me. Yes. But if you, if you stayed here, we'd both land in a concentration camp. Isn't that right, Louis? I'm afraid that Major Strauss would insist. You're only saying this to make you go. I'm, I'm no good at being noble, Ilza. I'm saying it because it's right. What about us? We'll always have Paris. We didn't have it. We lost it. Till you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. When I said it, I would never leave you. Everything is in order. Are you ready, yes, sir? As well, there's something I'd like you to know before you leave. I know, Monsieur Rick. Ilza has told me all I need to know. About you and herself. I don't ask you to explain anything. And I'm going to anyway. Might make a difference to you later. Last night, Ilsa tried everything to get those letters. When nothing else worked, she did her best to pretend that she was still in love with him. That was all over long ago. For your sake, she tried to pretend it wasn't. I... I tried to let her pretend. We couldn't even fool ourselves. Right. Mr. Blaine. Welcome back in the fight. This time, our side will win. <laughs> Shall we board a plane, Ilsa? Yes, Victor, I'm ready. God bless you, Richard. Goodbye. Well, I suppose you know this isn't going to be pleasant for us, of us, Ricky. I have to arrest you, of course. When the plane leaves, Louis. Too, I'm afraid, Ricky. Here comes Major Strauss. You better keep quiet, Louis. I'd hate to have to shoot you now. Why did you ask me to come to the airport, Captain? Well, I was afraid Victor Laszlo might be leaving on this plane. Sort of a double, double cross, eh, Louis? Oh, oh, the ridiculous idea, Captain. Possibly. Nevertheless, he's on the plane. Well, why do you stand there? Why don't you stop him? Oh, Monsieur Rick. Stay where you are, Scotcher. Herr Blaine, I would advise you not to interfere with an officer of the Third Reich. I'm a true neutral, Strasser. I was willing to shoot Captain Renault, and I'm willing to shoot you. But you will shoot too late. Oh. My shooting, Ricky. I'm afraid my gendarme said those shots. Well, until after this affair dies down, Ricky, I think you'd better disappear from Casablanca. I can arrange your transportation to a fighting French garrison in Rosadine. All right, Louis. I could use the trip, but uh, don't forget, you still owe me 10,000 francs for a bet on Laszlo's escape. Oh, well, uh, we'll need that to get to Rosadine. We'll need it. Certainly. I can be as silly a sentimentalist as you. You know, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Uh...